Hi guys, welcome to Dad in the Don, week 28 of the Premier League. Hang on, week 28 is over though, isn't it? No, it's not. There's four bonus games on Thursday because of postponed games from earlier in the year and we're going to bring you those as well. You may have seen our other video where we previewed all 10 from the weekend. So this time, we scrapped the Pondrichy team. It's just me and the Don going at it head to head. So Don's going to predict his four predictions. I'm going to give my four predictions and we're going to see who gets the most right. Starting off with the Don, let's get it on. Right, four games Thursday evening, adding on to week 28. Uh, I'm doing this without knowing what Phil's predictions are. So uh, let's hope he doesn't copycat, see you and team me. Um, but yeah, let's crack on. Norwich versus Chelsea. Pretty certain we're both going to have the same <laughs> result here. I know Phil will. He's a favourite backer and has no imagination. On this occasion, even someone like me with the, much, m the most imagination ever can't go against Chelsea here. Just can't see Norwich troubling them. Let Chelsea beat them 7-0, seven, 6-0 seven nil, nil, early on in the year at home. I think it's 7-0. Um, they're probably going to get a few few goals this 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 time around uh, and keep a clean sheet. Um, I think Chelsea will win this quite easily. Norwich ain't going to cause them problems. If Norwich lose convincingly against a team out of form in Brentford, a team like Chelsea, who are third in decent form, should win, should win easily as well. And that's my thinking here. Um, I don't think many people will go against Chelsea. I, I see this being a clean sheet and a win of 4-0 for Chelsea. Southampton, Newcastle. Listen, this game could... Any result here. Uh, listen, a lot of people, when they do predictions, they, they go and form. Anyone can beat anyone. Take maybe the top six, seven, eight teams. Anyone can beat anyone home and away. And just because they lose the game before doesn't mean they're going to lose because the team they're playing won the last few games. So a lot of people go, Newcastle, because they've won four in a row. Southampton lost. They won't win now. Don't work like that. We all know that. Anyone can beat anyone. I think this will be an entertaining game. Both teams score. And I'm going to go for a home victory. Yeah, they're probably favourites, but a lot of people will back Newcastle. And I don't want to jump to the curd. I want to be, be different. Um... Could be a draw, but I, I don't like doing draws in games like this because I think it's a carried way out. Um, so I'm going to go Southampton win this one 2 1. Wolves versus Watford. Again, a lot of people will back Wolves regardless of their form because of where Watford are. Uh, Watford are a decent side, but there's loads of sides better than them. They aren't the worst in the league. I think, still think Burnley and Norwich are worse. Maybe Leeds at this current time. Dennis, if he can perform and cause any, he can cause anyone troubles. Will they cause Wolf troubles? Well, Wolves don't concede many, but they don't score many. And on, on a blip, overachieve maybe a bit, maybe a bit like Wolf, uh, Brighton, but you know they're a mid-table team, uh, and they'll probably finish around that t that area. Nil nil for me, simple as. And the final game is Leeds versus Villa. Uh, Leeds first home game under the new manager against a very inconsistent Villa side. A lot of people will say Villa again. And I can possibly see that happening. But again, Villa inconsistent, especially away from home. Again, wouldn't be surprised if they won. But I think Leeds at home, new manager, better defensively, it looks like the first, first view. Uh, they need to win, but he'll rather not lose. I don't know. I don't want to just say Villa. And I don't want to sit on the fence. But this could be a draw for Leeds. So I'm going to say 2-2. Two, two. OK, thanks for that, Graham. First and foremost, I don't need to copycat cunt anyone. As you can see from the caption above, I'm doing all right without copycat cunting a certain person. So, moving on to the first game. Norwich v Chelsea. Again, I'm not going to disagree with what Don said. It's going to be quite an easy game for Chelsea, this one. Although I don't think it's going to be quite as high scoring as the Don's gone for. I think Chelsea are still in Europe, still have the FA Cup to play for. Not in league contention, so they're just going to go through the motions here. Get the points using as little energy as possible. It's going to be a clean sheet, but it's only going to be 2 0. 2 0 Chelsea. Southampton versus Newcastle. Southampton, one of my favourite teams as a neutral in the Premier League. Love what they're doing there. Rate the manager. Again, Newcastle have been on a good bit of form, but I can't go against Southampton. It's just like the way they, they run, the way they're set up, and man for man, I just think they are better. So I'm going to go, it's going to be quite a high scoring game. I'm going to go 3 2 to Southampton. Wolves versus Watford. Wolves on a nice run of form as well. I know they've lost a couple of times to Arsenal, but they are punching well above their weight and Bruno Large is doing fantastic in his first year in the Premier League. Watford, what a disgrace they've been. Everyone predicted it and the Don did actually tip this earlier in the Premier League predictions video at the start of the season that they'd be on their third manager by January and that has come true. So all three managers, each one they've set, they've got worse. 
So it's their own fault and it serves them right. They will be going down. They'll probably be rock bottom and they will deserve it. They won't be getting anything out of this game. They, like I've said, they're getting worse game by game, manager by manager. They're not scoring enough goals. Wolves aren't conceding any. So I think this is going to be a classic 1-0 to Wolves. Leeds versus Aston Villa. Yes, they've got a new manager in. Yes, you'd expect to see an uplifting performance. But Aston Villa, man for man, I just think they're better. Leeds have still got players out injured, like key players. Don't see it changing too soon. I think the attitude will be better. The tempo will be better. But that's not going to get you results. Villa are putting teams away. They're scoring enough goals. I think they're going to just have enough to get over the line in this one. I'm going to say 2-1 to Aston Villa. So guys, there it is. That was Daddy versus the Don. First sort of head-to-head challenge we've done for a while. So get behind us. Let us know who you think will win this challenge. Let us know your predictions. Let us know if you think we're both a pair of wallies. Whatever you think it is, put it in the comments. More than welcome. We'd love to hear from you. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.